Alrighty, so Donald and I, mainly Donald, we got the rest of the tomato tires filled. These guys are our mysterious tomatoes. So today, even though we're a little late in the season, but we're still going to plant because here in Central Florida, our season is a lot longer than the, uh, the normal. So we are going to go ahead and plant more tomato plants in each one. So we're going to go ahead and lay this out and we'll show you what, which ones are going where. So here's something different. This is a tomato plant. But the bloom looks like a dandelion. This is one of the mysterious tomato plants that we got from a friend of ours. This one, I'm definitely certain it is a Cherokee, uh, purple Cherokee. But yeah, the mysterious plants. I've never seen one like that before. All right, so this time around, Donald has picked out the tomatoes that he's wanted. So what are you doing, honey? I am planting these guys. Which one's that? This is... <laughs> oh, sticking to my shirt. Yeah, they do that. This is the Hungarian heart tomato. Okay, so we're on the side with the mysterious tomatoes. The ones we don't know what they are. Yeah, well, actually, I got with our friend. I mislabeled this one. This is actually a blueberry tomato. Okay. They'll turn, it'll stay this purple, bluish purple color on top. And when it's ready, the bottom will turn red. So it'll have a red, a right. reddish blue tint to it. And I'm doing two tires of most of these pota of the potatoes. Most of these what? tomatoes. Tomatoes, not potatoes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so we're skipping every other tire, but we're doing two seeds per hole, so we'll have a better chance. A better, you know, more chance. I mean, obviously, everything that we planted over there is done great. Everything came up, so. But we are planting these way late in the season. But that's okay, because our we're season. Hoping it will. Yeah, our season's longer than normal. Yeah, but the, the, our main problem we're going to have is the tomatoes don't like the hot Florida sun. Right. But we've picked out some different varieties that's supposed to be able to deal. Yeah, with the heat. With the heat better. So here, let me have the awful to Those you. are the Hungarians. Okay, so Hungarians are here next to the blueberry. What's that one? This is the Martino Roma. Oh yeah, because I picked up some Roma tomatoes for you. Because you like the Romas, don't you? Yeah, I want to make a bunch of sauce this year. Yeah, we both do. And I'm planting them back towards the back of the tires because I want to plant stuff in the front of these to go along with these. Well, yeah, and it provides support too because um, even though we don't like to use these because they're flimsy, we got these for free from somebody that gave it to us, so I'm using them. But I prefer the the string method and then just looping the string around the stalk loosely. Um, these are dwarfs here. So those are what? Dwarfs. So the cages might actually end up working for these guys. Yeah, I still got two more cages left, but I'm just gonna wait and see how these come up so so that was the roma yep all right the martina martina roma all right let's go around the other side here all right this one we are doing it's just a regular roma tomato okay and we're only doing one tire of these Uh oh. That's the babies. I haven't shown you guys these. 
That's the turkey. Hi guys. Sorry, it's I'd have to open it up, but our one of our ducks hatched out three ducklings and a turkey. <laughs> so we got them in our outside brooder because we didn't want them uh, getting hurt with the uh, the hawks. Alright. <clears throat> now we're doing the mm. Florida a floral dade. Florida dade. Well floral. didn't you just plant in that one? No, I just planted in that one. Yeah. We're only doing one tire of those romas. Only one tire of the romas? Okay. So the end tire's got the Roma. And what's that one? This is the Florida Dade. The Florida Dade. Okay. This is the one that um, has been Developed. cultivated to withstand the Florida heat and drought. So we're kind of excited about this one. Well, you have to put some in there. Oh, yeah. I guess I have to put too, huh? You need more coffee? I know we're out here kind of early in the morning. <laughs> I'm usually at work. Yeah. But, but it kind of slowed down. All right now. You get that. Every night. In my now. field, every year, we have a little slow period. Yeah. Normally, it's right after New Year's and at the beginning of summer. So, but that's okay. We'll just do stuff today. Get more stuff planted, huh, honey? Yep. All right, so what's the next one? This one is the Japanese Trafel. Truff, Trafel. Here, let me see. Trifle? Truffle? It's not truffle, but it's... It's almost like, like truffle. it. Truffle black tomato. <laughs> yeah, they said that's a, um, a hearty tomato, and it's, um, you know, it'll help with the canning when you can them. Like, um, oh, I can't think of the word. It'll add some coloring and uh, and uh, a flavor to the Good. to the to tomato sauce and tomato paste that we make, which I'm excited about this year. Hopefully, we get a decent harvest. Only do like two per hole, honey. I don't like it. Because with them going lit in late the season. I'm afraid if I, we have to separate them with the heat, it might put them in a shock. I won't separate them. I'll just cut off the stalks that we don't want. Okay. That works for me, too. Next year, I'll have a starting greenhouse built up here somewhere. Yeah. And that way we can start things early and get them in. We just, we got so far behind with mom moving to West Virginia. Well, that and, and other family issues that yeah, we other family issues. we're not going to discuss, but we're so far behind on planting and trying to get this. Yeah, we're just trying to get some type of a garden this year. Yeah, I mean we still have to do the fill up the mailbox because that's where I want to plant my radishes. But uh, it's just been now. What's that one? This one here. Is the Amish paste. Amish paste, okay. You planted some of those over there, didn't you? Yeah. I in each tire, each tire has a different tomato. That's what I did. So that way we would have a variety. Because you know me, I, I eat tomatoes right off the vine sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I like the Everglades tomatoes like that. Yeah, well, I'm not a fan of we have plenty of that growing everywhere, everywhere. right now. <laughs> it has popped up everywhere. I mowed so much of that down in I there. know, I did too. I did try to leave some, but like... 
there's people dying to get their hands on the Everglades tomatoes. I see it online all the time. And the thing is, is once they get them, mm -hmm. you they'll never, never be without them again. Yeah. Well, at least here in Florida. Yeah. I mean, we got an Everglades over by the animals. We got some. We got some growing over here by my moringa. We have some over here, over there, behind the brooder. I mean, we have it everywhere, don't we? So, there you go, guys. We just got done planting everything. No, nope, we still got the soybeans to do. Oh, yeah, the soy. I forgot about that. Where are they at? Inside the house. Oh. Um, I forgot them inside the house. I guess I'll go get them. Okay. Looks like I got a purple daisy. And the sunflowers are doing great. Along with all the tomatoes. All right, and then our Save the Bee borage has blossomed. And I got more over here. More coming right there. It's a really unique looking plant, guys. It's pretty cool. Okay, for those of you have, that have never seen, these are the Asian yard long green beans. And then this is the flower it produces. And then you can already see the green beans coming out. Normally they'll do two to four beans on a, uh, a stalk like that, but it's growing. That's just one of them. Okay guys, this is the chocolate baby bell. As you can see, I have flowers and there they are. And this one's loaded with flowers too. I have my first butterfly pea flower. And I have another one right there. So pretty soon I'll have a whole mess of them and they're starting to climb as you can tell by the vines. So excited. Okay guys, we are going to be planting the soybean and why are you, why are we planting soybeans? Because I love those, those uh, boiled uh, salted soybeans at the Japanese steakhouses and restaurants. Mm -hmm. So I want to be able to grow those. Okay. So and these are the tank tankuro ones, and we're going to put them here towards the end of the tomatoes because they are nitrogen fixing. Oh, nice! And I'm just going to like put one at the. beginning of each of these and just see how they do yeah okay now you are only going to do them in these tires that I think I'm, well, we got enough beans. I think I'm going to put them in front of all of them. All right. So even the mysterious ones? Yeah. Are we going to do any on the, on the ones that we've already planted or no? Maybe. Well, remember, that's going to get a lot more shade. Yeah. During the, during the daytime. Well, I don't know how these are going to do. It'll be a good experiment to see what does what. Okay the best place to plant them. 
And you're just doing one per tire, one yeah. seed per tire? I'm excited about this tomato. I can't wait to see how big that tomato gets. Yeah, that is some weird bloom. We'll explain that later. <laughs> And while you're planting it over there, I'm going to go check out our buzz button to see if the flowers opened up. Ah, uh, not quite yet. Almost. Buzz button, if you guys don't know about it, is really good for um, if you have issues with your teeth and you can't get to the dentist right away. You take the a piece of the flower and you stick it between your cheek and your gum and it will actually numb that area a piece of the flower yeah not, not the, the whole flower like you did <laughs> not like you want to be drooling over yourself for an hour <laughs> that was hilarious they still i remember the look on their faces they couldn't believe you actually ate the whole thing and it was like within 30 minutes he's just a drooling <laughs> So now, you didn't do it on every tire back there? Didn't have enough, and some of these are really small tires back here. Yeah, just do them in the big tires. Alright. Alright, well that's it for this. Uh, next thing, we have an online class to take with the University of Florida. I'm going to water these in real quick. Yeah, too. well yeah, before the sun gets too... It's almost above the pine trees. <laughs> but um, there you go, guys. So we'll get back with you a little bit later.